Hi team, Robert here again. Uh, in this video, I want to show you how to place holes or openings in our piece of Unistrut. Um, so you feel you made some attempts, good attempts, but this is basically how you do this. So we want to keep this open, but what we first need to do is go and open a new family. So let's go and let's open. Uh, we want to go and sign new family. And what we want to do is we want to go down to a generic face-based family uh, template. There it is. We want to open this. Now, the first thing we want to do, we want to go in here and we want to create our opening, our hole. So let's just drop some parameters just for the heck of it. Uh, probably won't be needing them, but I always like to do this anyway. Just so one day I might want to come back and use this for something else. Okay, here. One there. So now let's make this thing equality. Equalize this up. Equal, give it an overall. Quite big because I think the hole is nine sixteenths, so it's okay. Overall, take this one and we'll make it equality as well. So we'll create a parameter here. And we'll call this whole diameter. Let's just say DIA. And we can make it a type, I guess, or we can change it. Okay, and then we'll go over here and just simply, because they're going to be the same, and just say, okay. Now, our actual hole is 9 16 so let's just go in here and our properties, type properties. And let's say nine sixteenths of an inch and click apply and okay. So there's our parameters for our, our hole in a void form. So next we want to just go to create. We want to create a void form. And it'll be a circle. So we'll go from the center. To this point, and we'll click finish. Now let's go on to our front view and finish this up. So I should have fixed this earlier, but you can just pull this guy down. It doesn't have to be that deep. Put it there. Or I could have just did this early on. Just make it right about there. And then let's go back to our 3D view. And now we'll cut our hole. We'll select the form. I'm sorry, we'll select the void. And we will cut this guy. Sorry, here we go. Select it. We're going to cut. There we go. So there's our void form. So now we have our void. Let's just go make this uh, shaded view. And there's our hole. Doesn't matter how deep it is, at least it needs to be deep enough to clear the uh, the unit strut. So I'm going to drag this down a little more just for the show. Okay, now let's just push this guy to a side. Actually, I'll do this. I want to just. You and I'm gonna 
close here. And I'm going to window tile this and go back into our unit strut. We can actually even minimize this, but uh, we can leave it open if you like. So let's go into our unit strut now. Now, in this piece of unit strut, we want to go into our reference level. And you should have all of your, like you did, you did a good job. You got all of your type set. That's good. Let's cancel that. Now, I want to go and I want to take that void opening. And I want to load that into this family. So I want to load this family over here. So I just go and load into project. And want to place it on the face. So let's place it right about here. Okay, now. The first thing we want to do is we want to align this to make sure we got it right on the center point and lock it. Then we want to go and add a dimension from here to here. Actually, we want to make this scale this up a little bit so we can see what's happening here. So I want to go and I want to make a point from here to here, and that's in half an inch. Now we want to make this a parameter. So we'll take select this guy, we'll add a label. This will be an instance, and we'll call it start. Distance. And we'll say OK. So there's our start distance. Now the next thing we want to do, we want to go and we want to do an array. We want to select our array. Right, we want to copy this. We want to array this. Okay, we want to have a group and associated tick, and then we want to go. We want to go from this point over. I think our distance is one and seven eighths of an inch. So metrically, I mean dimension. This is one point eight eight. Let's just say one point eight eight here. And then, okay. Then we want to go here. We want to add a line dimension. We want to select this guy. We want to give this a parameter as well. And this parameter, we'll call it whole spaces. Whole spacing. And this just has to be also an instance parameter, and we'll say OK. Now here we get a constraint warning. Thank goodness, can be ignored, so we're going to ignore it. And we got our whole spacing. Now next thing you want to do here, let's make this bigger so you can see what's happening. Next we want to do is we want to go in and select tab to this. So I'm sorry, zoom out a bit. Let's tab to this to we so to we find this integer, this two, and we'll pick that guy and we'll add a label to it as well. And this will be an instance parameter and we'll call it number of holes.
We'll say OK. OK, now let's go and look and see what's happening in our properties. And there's our number of holes. I should have said holes, but OK, that's good enough for now. So what happens is if I just say four holes, you'll see what happened. The four holes were generated in the, uh, in the family. But I want to cancel that. And I just want to undo that because we want to do something else here. So now there's our parameters all set up and everything. So now what we need to do next is we need to create a formula that will allow us to carry these out. So we'll go back into our type properties and where it says number of holes, we'll define length. divided by whole spacing. And we'll say apply and OK. So there you go. This is simple as a way to do this. So now let's load this into a project and see how this works. So I'm going to go file. I'm going to go to a new project, go to architecture, I'm going to say OK. Do a window tab. And I want to load our, this should be the P41HS. I'm going to load this into the project. And there's our piece of Unistrut with holes and everything. So now, this time, so we go and select this guy. And you have your types already set up. Let's go up to 60 inch. And the holes will, tear, it will carry on. So that's basically how we do it. So this is a better way to do that. Uh, now, we can go and change it to any size we want. Let's go to 108. And so on and so forth. Now, on the end, we really, I'm, on, I'm not really concerned with that. There's another parameter that I would use. It would add, add to that formula or subtract from it. But for right now, I'm really not concerned with that because that's this that's how they sell it, and this is a lot simpler and easier way to do this. So from now on, uh, like I said, create yourself another Boyd family and insert it using the array command. And I go back here to this family. Set this up this way. And then use the formula here where you take the whole length divided by the spacing. So basically what's happening is this length is divided by that space number. So hey, thanks for watching and uh, do the rest of these like this. And like I said, I'm not too concerned with the end portion. I just want to have a nice, quick, and easy way to bring these in. All right, thanks for watching and yeah. Keep going. You guys are doing good. Okay, talk to you next time. Bye.